My name is John Donoghue. I'm from Ballyborough, Cuffsgrange, County Kilkenny. I run a suckler to store system, plus we keep about 220 ewes. We keep 40 pedigree taxel ewes, and we sell all the rams as shearing rams. We started using the boluses last February, pre-lambing. We were very happy with them. We found we had a very easy lambing. The sheep have throve really well throughout the year. What were the reasons for starting to use the Animax boluses? We found that the lambs were stopping thriving in July and we found that they've got scaly ears like cobalt deficiency and uh, we often blood tested over the years and we just couldn't identify whether we had a problem or not. We used to feed a lot of pre-calving minerals and we always put minerals down our throat really but it wasn't really lasting really. We were only getting a 10 day, 2 week kind of a system out and it was too labour intensive to go in regularly and to dose them. So we found a bolus is very handy. That's one of the reasons we decided to use the bolus. We saw a local meeting of sheep farmers, ours organised by Animax, and we went to it and we uh, recognised a lot of the problems that they brought up at the meeting. And so that's why we decided to use them then, and we found the boluses for the sheep very handy. There was three pallets, and it was into a gone, and it was just once down the throat, and every six months, and it was really labour-friendly. And that's one of the main reasons we used them. Results have been very good. We've had a better year here weather-wise, but we never had the pedigree texels. The rams were very, very good, and we've sold them nearly all. We've only two left now, and uh, with minimal concentrate feeding. We were only fed for about three weeks before we sold them, and the sheep were in super condition. And I would say it's definitely down to the boluses. It was a major help to them, and the, the general health of the old flock is a lot better. Like. And after having such great results in the sheep, you started bolusing your suckler herd with Allshore. We used it Allshore in April before uh, we let in the bull, and uh, we noticed that the calves are in much better condition, looking better, and the cows definitely a shinier coat on them. And uh, we haven't scanned yet, but results look very good. We just try to have a 70 to 80 day calving period, and uh, we're trying to tighten it up. We had a very loose ca- calving period, but we're trying to tighten it up now. And uh, yes, we're very happy with them. Had you been experiencing problems in the herd before starting to use Allshore? Yeah, we have had problems with selenium and uh, iodine over the years and we had to go in with different things and treat and pre calving for that and uh, retain cleanings after births and uh, hopefully we're going to go in and use Allshore again now on the cows about October, November, three or four months pre calving and cover them for that. I'd be very hopeful it's going to work for us very well. Well, after a very dry spell, it's pouring with rain here today, but the cattle and the sheep are all looking very, very healthy. Yes, they are. They're looking very healthy, Debbie. I think you picked the wettest day of the year to come here, but uh, no, the stock looks very well, and we're very, very happy with it. The way farming is gone now, we have to strive to save every pound, and uh, we have to run a system of cheap grass, really, and uh, this is a major help to us, I think, you know. Concentrates are getting expensive, and just we can't afford to feed them any longer, you know. We also run a commercial flock of about 180 commercial yews and we lamb from the 15th of March and we have a 30 day lamb spread. We just take the rams out after 30 days and we keep all the lambs. We supply a local butcher here in Kilkenny and we sell them 20 to 25 lambs a week. We've used the boluses on these lambs as well and we're very, very happy with the results. We, we bring, they're all Texel cross lambs and we bring them to 52 or 3 kilos. Minimal concentrates. We we're just starting to feed in the last 10 days. We're very, very happy with the results we've had. Were you able to achieve those results pre-bolusing? Yeah, but we had to feed a lot of concentrates to the sheep or we, else we had to have a, a catch crop like a typhon to fatten the sheep. But this is the first year we've had just pure grass. We had no typhon. We were kind of cut back on our tillage. We, we have a small tillage uh, area as well and we were cutting back on our, t- our tillage crops so we had no area for typhon. So this is the reason we had grass this year. And we were concerned that we were going to feed a lot of concentrates to the lambs to fatten them, but no, we're very, very happy with it.